is going on guys today we're going to be doing a tutorial on this kit preview plugin so this is a sick plugin that you're going to want to have for survival games or factions or anything to do with kits even kit pvp this is an amazing plugin to have so it lets your players be able to preview the kit before they actually buy it so the notch kit right here you can right click to preview left click to buy it and then it displays you know the item for the kit on top of the chest and it doesn't have to be a chest everything is customizable to the max so go ahead and download this plugin and also recommends to have the plugin called essentials x i'm not using that and it's working fine but in case it doesn't work out fine that will be in the description for you to download and then hologram api is a plugin that you're going to want to get if you want holograms to be above them which i think is important anyways guys let's go ahead and get started so it's gonna hook with the kits for essentials. So all the kits in there, it's gonna hook with that and it'll work with that. So let's go ahead and get started. After you have the plugins that you want, restart your server. We can go ahead and set this block up as a kit preview block just by looking at it and typing the command slash KP set and then the kit name. So the kit name comes from the config of essentials. Like I said, I'm gonna go with the default kit tools. So hit enter after that and bam, it's assigned to this block that you were looking at. Now when you right click on it, it has a GUI which previews all the items that you can possibly get from this kit which is really cool. So your players can actually see everything that they can possibly get from this kit. And yeah, so they can either, you know, click exit. And currently we have to link either our in-game price. So you can decide whether your players have to buy it with in-game currency or you can link them to any website of your choice. So for example, you can link them to Buycraft or your website where they can actually buy it for real life money. That's completely up to you, either link or set it for in-game price. I'm gonna set it with both. Now while looking at it, we're gonna use the command slash KP buy set eco, the kit name, so tools, and then the price. So let's go with 50 in-game currency, hit enter, there we go. So now they can buy that for $50. If you see at the bottom, there's now a green glass pane, so they can click buy now to buy it. And as you can see in the lore, which is really cool, it says click to buy for $0. And you know, below that it tells you why it's zero dollars. It's because I already have the permission. Everyone else has to buy it for 50 though. So yeah, that is pretty cool. But obviously it's a little boring and it doesn't really tell players what this is. So we're gonna have to throw in some holograms. So let's go and look at the block and type in slash KP hollow, hit enter, there we go, bam. So honestly, just like that, that's enough for me. Like the hologram is perfect, exactly you know, as descriptive as I want it. But in case you do want to change what it says, you can go with slash KP kit, set title, and then the kit name, and then a title. And you can include color codes and everything like that. I'm going to go with uh, and a tools kit. That's light green. And I accidentally included an extra space right there. Dang it. All right. So now here comes the part where we can link it to a website. So slash KP buy set link and then the kit name, so tools, and then the link. So let's say I'm just gonna, you know, imagine this is the link to my Bycraft website, so bycraft.net, um, and hit enter, so there we go. So now it changes it, instead of using in-game, they have to buy it through the buy link. So we right click, and actually instead of right clicking and going to the preview, we can just left click automatically, and that'll send us to the buy link, or we can click on that, and then we click on the website itself. All right, and one of the last things that is actually really cool and very important in my opinion is showing one of the items from the kit on top of the block. So it'll be like right here. And I feel like that's really important. That's just my opinion anyways. But to show you what it looks like, you type in the command slash KP display items, just like that, bam. That is awesome. Now it's showing a floating item and it's going back and forth through all the items in that kit. And that is, oh, I just love that. So now let's test it on a new one. So slash KP set. And now we're going to type in the kit name. I'm going to go with color. I have no idea what this is, but I found it in the config of essentials. And so we're going to go with KP hollow. Now it's going to bring up the hologram and now we're going to set a price. So slash KP buy set eco, the kit name, color, and then the price for 50. There we go. One last thing that we want to do. So it's going to have a book of colors. I, I, you know, again, I have no idea what that is. Maybe I should look into that. But for now, instead of fl having a floating book for, you know, displaying colors, we're going to have a, uh, we're going to have something. We're going to have a block of wool. Let's go with 
orange wool. So instead of typing slash KP display items and having one of those items show up on display, which is a book, like I don't, I don't want that to show up. You can type in the command while looking at the block. By the way, if you haven't noticed, you have to look at the block for all these commands to work. And also holding that item in your hand, whatever you want it to be to display on top, you can type slash KP set display item and then the kit name. So color. All right, we did that wrong. All right, so apparently with that command, you have to declare it if it's a kit or kits, which I don't know why, but this is only one kit, so we're gonna go with just kit. And then there we go, okay, so that's pretty cool. Now it's floating in orange wool, just like we wanted it. So now we're gonna do one more. I'm gonna use the kit firework. There we go, let's go with KP hollow. Let's go with KP display items. There we go. That is pretty sick. We right click, we can see all the things that we get. Now, last thing, let's set the price. Buy, set eco, kit name, firework, and the price. There we go. So with that being said, guys, that is it for this plugin tutorial. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in my next plugin tutorial. Peace out.